Hi, this is Computer Science and I'm Mr. Smith. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to control our robot so it turns accurately. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to make it be able to turn right by 90 degrees. Let's just have a look around and see where we're at. We'll go over to the simulator. I've just got a standard world and my robot is just a basic robot. Nothing particularly special about it. Okay, so we want to be able to make it turn 90 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to use the gyro sensor, which is this one here. If you can't see your sensors, click on sensors, and you'll be able to see it. And the angle is measured in degrees. So we just grab the remote control, and we tell it to turn left. As we're turning, sensor number increases. Okay, and if we turn back, we can get it somewhere. It's almost impossible to do this. Um, the idea is you want it to stop when it gets to 90. So we're actually going to program it because it's a lot easier to do it with code than it is to try and do it with the joystick. So in our blocks, what we're actually going to do, I could do this just here, but I'm actually going to make a function. So I'm going to tell it to do something and I'm going to tell it to turn right with that B. There we go. Now, in order to do this, what we want to do is we want to make the tank move and spin towards the right. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to make it turn a little bit at a time. So if I did this, I'll make the left wheel go forward and the right wheel go backwards. That makes it turn towards the right. Now, I want to keep doing that until the gyro angle is less or I want to do it while the gyro angle is less than 90 degrees. So I want to keep doing this while the gyro angle is less than 90 degrees. Once it gets 90 degrees, I want it to stop. So I'm going to go to my loops. I'm going to pick a while. So I'm saying, while something is true, keep turning towards the right. And the thing that's true is my sensor. So I've got a gyro angle here. Now my gyro angle in this case is on port 3 for this basic robot. If this doesn't work, check your ports. Okay, and what we need is a bit of logic, because we need to check to see if the gyro angle is less than a number. Numbers are in math. Because it's American. There we go. So we want to repeat while gyro angle is less than 90. And when it is, we want to stop moving and hold. Okay. Let's put that in there. That makes it turn right. Now what we'll do is we'll make it go forwards and then we will tell it to turn right. Let's move that out of the way. So it's a bit cleaner. Simulator, reset. It really seemed to do that. Let's just reset that again and see what happens. It's not really gone very far forward. I'll check that out in a second and see why. Back to our blocks. Oh, okay. So this block here is not particularly useful for going forwards. Let's go for that one. To the simulator. There it goes. There it goes forwards, turns to the right, and we're done. And it stopped look at 90. So we know we've turned 90 degrees. So if I wanted to go around in a square, I could, I suppose, let's just make it a bigger square. Go for a loop and repeat four times. So simulation, reset. Off it goes, and it turned it right. So it's done that bit of code once. Goes forwards. Oh, ah, now interesting. It isn't turning. Now why is that? Well, let's have a look at the gyro sensor. At the moment, look, it's still 1991. So 
it's following the code that we told it to do, which was repeat while the gyro angle is less than 90. So it hit 90 and then it just went again. It stopped this and it moved on to moving straight. So what we need to do is we need to tell the gyro to reset. So we've got reset gyro under sensors and it's on port three. Let's reset that. It's forwards. The angle is turning. It hits 90 and then it goes back, it resets it. So it's on zero. And now it's turning again. So now it's going to work and it's going to go around in a square. Okay, so at this point, what I want you to do is pause the video in a second and create a function that makes your robot turn left and then test it. When you've done that, come back and start the video again and we'll move on to the maze. Okay, pause the video now. And you're back. Right then. So now what we're going to do is we are going to change our world to the maze. So we're going to go into our world and we're going to select maze map. Now, the only thing that's really important on this page is you scroll down to the bottom and you give a number here. I'm just going to put 72. Why 72? I don't know. I'm just choosing 72. And I'm going to click OK. So what happens is this, when I reset this maze, I always get the same maze. Let me just show you what happens if I don't have that, if I leave that blank. Okay, when I reset the maze, actually it is keeping the same one. That's unusual, wasn't expecting that. Normally, what it does if I don't leave a number in there, is it changes, let's just go default. Let's just see what happens. There we go, see? So each time I reset, the maze changes, which means when you come to try and navigate around the maze and you reset the robot back to the beginning, it's going to change and all your instructions are going to be wrong. Phew! But I got that wrong there. So, I'm going to go back to 72. And I'm going to click OK. So this time, see? It stays the same each time I click Reset. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the robot go forwards and then I'm going to call those functions left or right in order to navigate and I want to get all the way around here and either the red or the pink in my case just go for whichever one you think is the nearest just a thought but I'm going to give you an example so if we go back to the blocks we want to go forwards I'm going to get rid of this repeat there so I don't need it and I'm going to tell it to move forwards now I'm going to tell it to go four rotations and then I want to turn right. So in my simulator, we'll reset. Now the four rotations might not be enough. And the next part of the lesson is going to help you to fix this part. Yeah, so that was clearly nowhere near enough. Four, five, might be five and a half. Let's just reset. Let's go for 5.5 .5 rotations. Reset. Woo, looks like it needed to go even further. Let's try six rotations. I think actually, if you go forward two, for each square, I think it's two rotations. Let's try that. Okay, it's gonna be close, isn't it? It's gonna be close, we'll, we'll try that. Okay, so after that, I'm then going to want to go forward. But this time I want to go forward two rotations. And then I will want to turn right. If I look then, I'll probably go forward two more rotations. So we'll duplicate that block. Um, then at this point, I want to turn left. Okay, so your challenge earlier was to turn left, so you'll just call the function turn left. 
let's see what happens. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. So there we are. Your challenge then is to try and get to the nearest colour square. Okay, good luck.